Mm, did I check this room? It just kind of looks like it, but... It's like the edge of the... Uh, uh, well, I guess that's because I don't actually go into the room completely. Anyway, so since we have the security 2 card, I think that one was upstairs and we can unlock that one. So we just have to keep going. To do more rooms to explore. Oh, of course, it's always something like that, isn't it? So see, both, both Yellow and Roland are kind of... Yeah, I need to work on their mantras. They should definitely have better skills at this point. Okay. Sweet. Roses sell for a lot of cash at the Mad Mart. Yeah, I was actually worried that you would have problems getting cash in this game. But the, the flowers you can pick up and sell, they are actually what... They actually eventually make you... Well, they... Okay, so yeah, so basically you kind of stay at the same all the time if you keep buying mantras and you just level up normally by... Or, you know, if you fight normally and you gain cash that way. But when you sell the flowers, they're like... They make... They sell for so much and you usually have a few of them by the time you reach a Mad March that the, your wallet significantly increases. So... As long as you find flowers, you probably shouldn't have any problems with money in this game. Uh, where have I not gone?
Oh, this one leads downstairs. I wonder how many floors there actually, there actually are in this in this building. Because this one goes to be deep. Generally the dungeons don't seem to be that long. Oh, here's a dead guy. Oh, I think I should. Yeah, guess I'll give her an ammo upgrade. <sighs> Seriously, why is why is the human form so useless? God. Empty room. This weak guy weak to you? Um, electric attacks. Uh. What a surprise. So, so far this game has been kind of, you know, pretty straightforward. And uh, I wonder if there's actually going to be any part where you can actually grind at... Because the only thing you can do is... Well, since you pretty much progress to the dungeons right away, there's not really, really any room for, you know, grinding somewhere else. And once you leave the dungeon, you move on to the next, so... Yeah, I don't know how people actually did it when they when they said in DDS1 that oh I I grinded the, all the mantras and why would you do that? Well, I think there was might have been some areas you could uh, visit and you used that and you were used those, but. 
It just seems so excessive to actually gather all of all of the mantras. Seems like a bit of an overkill. Then again, I do remember that I had some problems with the and the boss there, which was actually, you know, yeah, because it was actually Jenna. And I couldn't even kill her. But yeah, if I, you know, if if it turns out that I, you know, let's say that I'm at the end of this game. Uh, I don't know. Maybe I, my, I might try to put in a little bit more effort to gather more mantras. If I can find a good place in the later game, in the late game. Where I can actually grind. Uh, obviously, because I didn't unlock all of the mantras, I'm not sure what type of skills you can get, but like getting the strong mantras in this game is pretty much equivalent to getting high level demons in, in Nocturne. And that's gotta account for something. But yeah, since I never even went that far, I I have no idea what you can actually get. So, yeah, you could basically say that when I played through DDS One, I I just scratched the surface of what you could actually do as characters. I was mostly focusing on elemental skills, but not necessarily the more powerful ones you could unlock later on. I think part of that w had to do with that um, I didn't have a reliable money source to actually keep, well, to not make myself broke whenever I would buy new mantras. Oh god, I need to get away. And of course I failed to escape. Oh hell. Let's give it a shot. What's the worst that could happen? Well, that could happen. Oh, and of course he dies in the next shot. Damn you, Roland. You killed off our Jilla. So, is our Jilla pretty much the, the Lisa of DDS? Oh. Yeah, you remember Lisa, don't you, from Persona 2? Everyone would like to take a whack at her for some reason. Ooh, item. Hmm. I like magic. Let's go with that one for her. Actually, it's pretty... Wow, damn. I mean, she has almost 50 magic, and I haven't even gotten very far in this game. 